tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Satnam everyone. My name is Reverend Reg. Here again for Practical Magic, where we talk about metaphysics, consciousness, and science and spirituality, and anything that is related to the ever-evolving field of study of metaphysics. And today we have Reverend Dr. Cindy Palos for our guest. And our episode for today is actually getting to know more about her. Especially, she's one of the most respected teachers in the field of metaphysics. And, all right, please close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out. Take a deep breath in and out. Take a deep breath in and out. And put your right palm on your heart. And together, let's affirm, I love myself for all that I was, all that I am, and all that I want to become. I am worthy because God made me so. Gently feel that inner smile from your heart. And let's chant Satnam three times. Satnam. 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 Feel the words and the mantra integrate in every cell of your body, in every organ, in every aspect of your life. Move your toes, wiggle your fingers, and you may gently open your eyes. Satnam, everyone. It's so amazing you here in the show, especially. We have a very interesting typhoon here in the Philippines, and I'm very glad that our very dedicated team here in Practical Magic, Dean, Bax, Ralph and my co-producer Sir Roddy and Sir Charlie, thank you so much for uh, assisting us, especially in this time. It's a very stormy day here in the Philippines. And I want to thank all my friends again for sending us your powerful, positive uh, prayers of protection. Music producer, author, poet, lyricist, composer, artist, Long-time radio announcer on multiple stations for Kawi Radio in Maui, Hawaii. And she's also a co-founder of KUOS in Sedona. And actually, she has also hosted the longest-running talk show on Maui for 30 years. And she's also a voting member of Grammy and Hara. And actually, eight of her CDs have been submitted for Grammy consideration. In the year 1979, she co-launched a chain of news stations across the United States of America and as part owner of and vice president of KVRE in Northern California. In 1984, Cindy started her own TV show and she has also interviewed a long list of ce celebrities over the years, including Nick uh, Fleetwood, Jackson Brown, Jerry Garcia, David Crosby, John Anderson, Wayne Dyer, Neil Donald Walsh, Marion Williamson, Anita Morjani, Ramdas, Swami Satchananda, Alan Cohen, and she has done over 17,400 interviews over the years, and she has about 
40,000 followers on her podcasts. And she's also practicing Aloha now in Hawaii Music Award for the in- Inspirational category. I mean, she has won the Hawaii Music Award for the Inspirational category. And she has five nominations for a Hoku by the Hawaii Academy Recording Arts. And she has also been nominated three times for Hollywood Music And aside from that long list of accomplishments, she actually has worked with the following people, uh, Dave Mason, Lara Solib, Sullivan, and uh, Wayne Dyer. She also has 11 CDs and has produced There Is Forever, Practicing Aloha, Angel Blessings, Arise Above Abuse, Ave Maria, Queen of Angels, Peace, Music, and Poems, The Gift of Hope, How to Fly with Less Stress, Book and Audiobook, Prayers for Peace, Himalayan Session, All in This Together, Put a Little Light in Your Life, The Travel Angel Handbook, Angel Blessings, Messages from Heaven, Mystical Mother Mary, and the book Prayers, Affirmations, and Meditations, and which, by the way, I love and have read myself. So without further ado, uh, let's all watch the interview with Dr. Cindy Palos. Well, when I began all those years ago in radio, um, I had a passion first for metaphysics and meditation. And I saw an opportunity through music there was this amazing opening. It was the beginning of the age of the Aquarius and people were writing about what I was experiencing in meditation. And I was very, very shy. I mean, you can't even imagine how shy I was when I was young, before I had an enlightenment experience at the age of 15. But then when I had that experience, I realized I had to serve and get past my shyness and fear by communicating and for me, um, still being shy, it was like, okay, behind the microphone seemed like a good way to be able to talk to people and get my message out. And music is a wonderful way to carry that same message when it related to what I was feeling spiritually. The right thing is being who you are to me more than saying, well, you're this and you're that, you're a label. I, I don't like the label so much as just the people being beautiful people. You know, and, and and we're seeing more people, and thank God Pope Francis did come out because as you make those little steps, it brings up discussions, like we're able to have this conversation. I was able with Father Carell, he's a gay priest, to have a conversation with him. And, and this opens the door to people understanding, you know, you can't judge other people for their love, yes. you know, for being beautiful yes. and love with each other. Um, Thank you for sharing that, Doctor Cindy. Wrong, you know. It's it's been just beautiful to see people finally understanding more of what you're about. That a lot of people out of their uh, peace and their poise. So one of the things that I would recommend is that you affirm the Lord's prayer. And please go ahead, Ralph. Keep rolling the video. Well, if we think back to all the motivation and what's happened and what Christ and Jesus Christ enacted as an example in his life, you know, he would say, who would throw the first stone? Who amongst you has not sinned? You may throw the first stone, you're talking about Mary Magdalene. Um, But, you know, when you think about that, a lot of times, and I was talking with Father Carell this morning, when people judge, for example, someone who is gay, they have some secret fears inside themselves, some secret fears that they've buried. And so they can project those secret fears out on someone else. And if you can forgive the secret fears that kind of hit inside that shadow part that we're afraid of, that we are insecure about, our secret fears go so deep And once we can forgive ourselves and all those deep hidden parts of ourselves, we may have been buried and not faced for a long time, but once we forgive ourselves, 
we can then forgive others and their secret fears because we know we have these secret fears. Believe me, everyone's got secret fears. Everyone's got parts of themselves. They don't yeah. want to pose, but in these days, boy, it's hard to keep those secret fears hidden. <laughs> you know, all of them, <laughs> what we are sooner or later, it does come out into the light. And so it's much better to face those secret fears in ourselves and forgive them. And then we can forgive others for understanding that they have secret fears as well. Other people to see into your heart um, it's a it's a it's it's a difficult thing, you know. You, it's just like when you have to tell your parents you're gay, or telling someone that you're afraid of how they yes. would maybe turn against you or be okay. upset with you. So it takes a lot to Thank trust. Thank you for that, Ralph. I want really to trust that you. Uh, I want to just okay. pause over there because you really will be okay. What Doctor Cindy is mentioning. Open up. Thank you for that, Ralph. Center of your meditation, and you're in the center of your being. And when you're in the center of your heart, and when you're the center of your beautiful throat chakra, and and when you are in the center of your soul, there's a certain energy that's been carried forward that is coming from that center of all light and all love. And when you can be centered in meditation, and you can be centered strongly in yourself, when you can be centered in God, you can tune into that vibration that is coming and allow God to play you like a flute. You can allow spirit to come through you as if you were an instrument. So, that's something you can practice in meditation by feeling when you're really in tune with your soul center of your heart and when you're the center of your beautiful throat chakra and and when you are in the center of your soul there's a certain energy that's been carried forward that is coming from that center of all light and all love. And when you can be centered in meditation and you can be centered strongly in yourself, when you can be centered in God, you can tune into that vibration that is coming and allow God to play you like a flute. You can allow spirit to come through you as if you were an instrument. So that's something you can practice in meditation by feeling when you're really in tune with your soul. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.